Wake Robin Golf Club is the oldest African-American women's club in the US. Formed in 1937, segregation was rife at the time, and the founding members were persecuted for both their race and their gender. I had so much honor for those women, because that took a lot of courage, because they were at risk being out in public. They were not just protesting to play the game of golf. They were protesting for their right to do it. During those times when they were protesting, they actually took their clubs and went to white horses for which they were rejected and they had to leave. I think the difficulty truly were men. I think men had a hard time accepting women being on the golf course, I really do. And then again, during those years, during 1937, there weren't that many women playing. I knew, knew the family women very well. Of course, they were much older than what I was at that time. But most of them were educators. Some of them were housewives. There were certain golf courses that you could play. It wasn't that many, but there were certain golf courses that you could play. And this is what we did. We took advantage of that. But a lot of times we had a hard time on the golf course because Sometimes men were just upset at women playing golf and they would hit their balls into you, things of this sort. Kids would come out and take you, steal your ball from the golf, you know, from the... So it was, it was difficult years. The attitude was not good. They let us play, but they didn't, they didn't really want to. I think that might have been what pushed them all the more to protest for their own golf course so that they didn't have to go to other states to play golf. The Wake Robins were without a home for their club until they were given an area of federal land, which they would eventually turn into Langston Golf Course. Yes, they finally decided to give us a course, but they put it on what was an existing trash dump. The glass, the bottles were still on the edge of the golf course. And of course, they played through that. They were just so happy to have some place. Coming here, I know I've passed by Langston Golf Course on many occasions before I actually knew all the history and been like, okay, that's a golf course there. But now when I walk by it, you know, my heart's like, oh, you know, there's richness here. And um, I really appreciate being able to come out to Langston and to play at Langston. Being part of the Wake Robins, it's everything right now. Just giving back, preserving the legacy, and getting more of our young ladies out there playing golf and become members of the Wake Robins So, because we have to pass the baton to them. The nice thing about it, Wake Robin because we are Wake Robin, we go to various golf clubs. That's why I said we're not limited to Langston. So we get an opportunity to feel welcome or unwelcome at many courses. And I can tell you there are still some unwelcome moments, okay? They feel uh, for the wrong reasons that we can't play golf at their, at their golf courses. But Wake Robin was very instrumental and have helped legislatively wise to help push and promote nationally uh, more acceptance of women in various golf clubs. I'm very proud of the golf club now. When you think that this golf club has lasted for 80 years, it's, it's, it's wonderful, it really is. And I'm proud, I'm very, very proud to be a part of it. I think we have influenced a lot of women to play golf. I really believe that. You know, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Because you can. You can. Look at our Wake Robin members. We got members that are in their 90s and they're still playing. We have young people that we just brought on board, our new members, you know. So I say just continue doing what you're doing. And if you need help, call us. Wake Robin celebrated its 80th anniversary this year and will continue to support those within the community looking for their first taste of golf.